Douglas Mawson was an Australian geologist who, at the beginning of the 20th century, set out on a mission to explore Antarctica. He was a key expedition leader during the heroic age of Antarctic exploration. The age was termed heroic because of the limited nature of the resources available at that point of time. It was before the advancement in transport and communication technology which revolutionized the work of exploration. On the 14th of December 1912, Mawson and two of his colleagues, Belgrave Nini and Xavier Mertz, were returning to the base after successfully not dying for a few days. Tragedy struck when Nini fell into a deep open crack. Along with Nini, the sedge supplies and most of the dogs fell down. At that point of time, they were 310 miles away from the base. In order to get back to the base, Mason and Mertz were having were going to have to take heavy steps and walk slowly through a lifeless ice desert without shelter. They only had a third of their food required to make the journey. Eventually, Mertz died from cold and exhaustion, leaving Mawson to fight alone. He suffered conjunctivitis and frostbite, so bad that his skin, his hair and the soles of his feet began to fall off. But Mawson kept going. Then his sledge got wedged in the snow and he fell into a deep open crack where he was left dangling helplessly above the abyss with his sledge behind him edging towards the crack. After pulling himself up from the frozen grave and surviving 32 days in the harshest environment on the planet, Mawson finally reached his hut where he was told that he would have to wait for 10 more months in the in Antarctica because the ship that was meant to take him back home had sailed off only a few hours earlier, believing him dead. However, the author of the book, Floss in the Ice by David Day, argued that Mawson survived by deliberately starving his friend to death before boiling up his flesh and eating it.